This lecture will cover team performance indicators and assessment. So some things that you probably should ask yourself some questions about whenever you are trying to assess a team are, how can you tell if a team is successful? You probably have numerous answers to this. How can you tell if a team is a good team? So what is a good team? What is the measure of it? How can a team be successful without being a good team? Is this possible? Can a team be a good team without being successful? So this is another way of thinking about a team that maybe you've been a part of. There is no silver bullet for answering this. However, there are some good tips. So one is a team. You should define what success looks like for your team. This discussion should include the team's final objective, but also key milestone objectives that support overall team success. You should agree on accountability practices before engaging in them. So who reports to who and what, how and when. And have these discussions, and you should have these discussions early on, and you should set appropriate expectations. Keys for having the, these discussions. First, you should involve all key team members. Second, all opinions shared and discussed. And finally, everyone needs to buy into the final decisions. There are four basic ways to measure team performance. There's an individual level versus the team level. You can look at behaviors and results. One is not necessarily better than the other, but all of these should be considered, discussed, and decided on by the team. And so this is a chart that explains these four basic ways to measure team performance. You'll see that at the individual level, this is an employee's contribution to the team. So their behaviors and processes. So one, they cooperate with team members, communicate ideas during meetings, participate in the team's decision-making process. And the results of this might be the number of ideas contributed by the employee, the turnaround time for the individual's product, the accuracy of data supplied to the team. You can also measure team performance based on the team level, the team's performance. So behaviors and processes, so runs effective meetings, communicates well as a group, allows all opinions to be heard, comes to a consensus on decisions. And then some of the results of the team performance is customer satisfaction with the team product, the number of cases the team completed, the cycle time for the team's entire work process. So this next exercise that you're going to complete in the course is the Lencioni team assessment. We are going to ask you to do the assessment for a team that you are part of that you would consider a good team. We're also going to encourage you to do the assessment for a team that you consider to be a bad team and then you're going to be comparing and contrasting both of those assessments with each other and it's really important as you do work on the collaborative teams to keep these things in mind so there are four ways that you can measure the, t the success of team performance.